All right, guys, so by now you should have read the story Prune Face, or Don't Call Me Prune Face, about twice, and the second time I've asked you to think about the theme and think about some details that help you support that theme. Now, let's review again what theme is. Theme is like the central message of the text, so really it's what the text is trying to teach you, okay? So think about all the events that happened throughout this text and think about what it's trying to teach you as a person, kind of, kind of to be a better person, right? So what is the central message? Well, think back to the text, okay? We have this boy lives in a town and this new girl came. He tried to be nice to the girl. She wasn't very nice to him, was she? No, she kept calling him some mean nicknames that she made up. Okay, and he tried to hold back. He tried and tried and tried to be nice. But all of a sudden it just came out. He called her prune face one of the days, right? He made up his own nickname for her. And was she very happy about that? No. He was mean back to her and she was not very happy. She got very upset. She actually ran away. Okay. So she also realized at that point she doesn't like being called mean nicknames. So somebody else probably doesn't either. Okay, so at the end of the story, they came to this agreement and decided that they weren't going to call each other mean nicknames. And because of that, they ended up making a new friend, right? They hung out together and were nice to each other, okay? So really, the theme of the story is it's better to be nice than to be mean, okay? Uh, better things come out if you're nice to somebody, than if you're mean to them. If you're mean to them, not so great things happen, right? But if you're nice to them, you could have a new friend or uh, good things start to happen, right? So that's what I'm going to put down as my theme. It is better to be nice than to be mean. And you guys should be writing this down. Again, if you need to pause the video, go ahead and do that. But our theme or our central message, what this story is trying to teach us is it's better to be nice than to be mean. Okay. We just realize that whenever we're nice to somebody, good things start to happen. Okay. Whenever we're mean to somebody, not such great things happen. Okay. So let's go ahead and think back to the story and find some key details that help support this. Okay think to the first part of the story when prudence meets paul she starts calling him pill right she starts calling him this mean nickname that he doesn't really care for and paul gets angry but he doesn't say so every day prudence thinks up another mean nickname and paul starts to have some really bad dreams doesn't he so that would be one key detail in the story so i'm going to write down when prudence calls Paul some mean nicknames. Okay. When Prudence calls Paul some mean nicknames, Paul doesn't say anything. Paul does not say anything. But starts to have some bad dreams, right? Some bad dreams. So when Prudence calls Paul some mean nicknames, Paul does not say anything, but he starts to have some bad dreams. So because Prudence is mean to him, something bad happens, right? he starts to have these bad dreams. These bad dreams wouldn't come if Prudence were nice to him, were they? would they? No. Okay, so that's one key detail that it's better to be nice than it is to be mean. Okay. What about another key detail from the story? What else could we say? What about when Paul calls Prudence prune face? Okay. 
she gets upset and runs away, right? So he, she doesn't feel very good whenever he says that. So um, the next key detail could be Paul gets so angry one day and calls prudence prune face okay she does not like that does she calls her prune face and she I'm trying to put my period there she gets upset upset and runs away not very good thing happens does it Okay, so Paul gets so angry one day that he calls Prudence prune face. She gets upset and runs away. Okay, so this kind of shows that a bad thing, what Paul did, leads to another bad thing. So him being mean leads to another bad thing. She gets upset. She wouldn't get upset if he wasn't so mean, right? So that is another key detail that says... It is better to be nice than it is to be mean. That's what this story is teaching us. And that's just one key detail from the story that kind of tells us that. Okay, we need one more. Think about at the end when somebody actually does something nice, okay? Let's think about that. So Prudence writes a note to Paul telling him not to call her mean names. So Prudence... writes a note to Paul telling him not to call her mean names. Okay? Paul tells Prudence the same thing, right? Paul tells Prudence the same thing. Don't call me mean names. They come to this agreement and at the end oh, and I need that uppercase. At the end Um, they walk their dogs. And are nice to each other. Nice to each other. Okay, so because they were nice to each other, then something good happened. They kind of made a new friend, didn't they? Both of them. So those are three key details that help support that it's better to be nice than it is to be mean. Okay, that helps support that theme or what that story is trying to tell us. Okay, now let's go ahead and look at the summary. Now the summary of a text is we're taking the whole text and kind of re-saying it or um, retelling what the story was about, but in a lot less words, okay? So we're using less words and we're not using such specific details. We're only getting those key details from the text, those big details that really make the story the story, right? So let's start at the very beginning. Um, Prudence comes to town. Prudence comes to town. And Paul tries to be nice. Okay. Prudence comes to town and Paul tries to be nice. We want to put these details in order of how they happen too, because that's part of a summary too. We want to put them in chronological order or we want to sequence them in the correct order. We don't want to start with the last thing that happened in the story. We want to start with the first thing. So that's why we're saying Prudence comes to town and Paul tries to be nice. I think it's pretty specific that we say Prudence is not nice 
to Paul, okay? She's not very nice to Paul. She calls him names. That wouldn't be very fun, would it? One day, let's think about what happened after that. So she's calling him names. One day, Paul gets so angry that she calls him prune face or calls her prune face. Um, Prudence gets upset, right? She runs away. She gets upset and runs away. She doesn't like that very much. Okay, so, so far I have Prudence comes to town and Paul tries to be nice. Prudence is not nice to Paul. She calls him names. One day, Paul gets so angry that she calls her prune face. She gets upset and runs away. At the end, finally, see how I'm using some of these words? Finally, I should have said first, next, then. Okay, so we can do finally, they both come to an agreement. They come to an agreement to not call each other names. They start being nice to each other. And they both make a new friend, right? And they both make a new friend. Okay. So let's go ahead and read this again. First, Prudence comes to town and Paul tries to be nice. Prudence is not nice to Paul. She calls him names. One day, Paul gets so angry that she calls her prune, or that he calls her, sorry, he calls her prune face. She gets upset and runs away. Finally, they come to an agreement to not call each other names. They start being nice to each other and they both make a new friend. So again, that's kind of showing, um, that summary kind of shows that it's better to be nice than to be mean. I mean, I can tell what the theme is just by reading that summary too, okay? So that's really important too, that your summary has enough detail in it that you're able to know the theme, but not specific details. You don't need those specific details, okay? So the summary should just have those big parts of the story, the main parts of the story. Uh, I cannot stress that enough. Another thing that might help you guys is by using those sequencing words that we've been using all year, right? That first, next, then, finally because then you can really make sure that you have it in the order that it needs to be. All right, I think that's it. So if you guys need any more time to write this down, go ahead and pause the video right here and it's all right here, you can write it down, but I want you to write this down, okay? It'll help you later on in the week whenever we have some more of these to complete.